did get asked for not too long ago and this one's pretty interesting considering i man this exotic has some history dude like i shouldn't have to tell you what this exotic does it became infamous for so long and it was busted for so long oh my god so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really do appreciate it i really really do appreciate it because these videos not only take a while to make they're a right bitch to edit but i do it because i know you guys like the videos and i really do appreciate it and honestly i'm kind of getting known for this i don't know how well i mean to be fair i've, I've been posting a lot of fashion specifically exotic pieces so i do understand it but yeah, let me know what you guys think and let's just get into it. So this exotic is called, or specifically the perk is called Vengeance. Highlights the targets who dare to damage you, track down and destroy them for an overshield. So this was absolutely fucking busted uh, when it first came out. Uh, and it was busted for a long time. I don't even, I think it was like a full, no, it couldn't be, it, it could have, it, it, I, I might be re misremembering because I hate this exotic, but for me, it felt like damn near more than a year. Like it felt a long time. This was busted. Um, that being said, I, it's fine. Now you don't get the overshield as fast as you used to. You don't get the weapon bonus that you or the weapon buff or boop damage buff that you used to get, which is fucking dumb and you don't get wall hacks anymore like you used to this exotic just overall was super busted i don't want to talk too much about this because again this this exotic is infamous for just being wild and this is not this type of video we're going to be looking how how it actually looks which speaking of which i think it looks terrible i think it's one of uh, i shouldn't say that it's not it's not a it's not a like a terrible looking exotic i actually think it looks super cool i like the fact that it's like a pseudo skull type thing. My my gripe with it is I don't like the top of the helmet. I think the point thing is just kind of dumb. The one eyed mask aspect of it is super cool. Like the one eye is is there and the other eye is not. Uh, I I think you know what it is. I think if they had given like the lower jaw, because you guys can see there's an actual lower jaw like piece there if they had given the lower jaw like an actual like jaw piece i think that would have been that would have looked so cool to be fair though when i first saw this exotic i thought it was going to be a hunter exotic because it i mean it's it's basically a skull helmet and from what i've been told hunters are edgy so that being said i think this exotic is super cool looking as for how to actually shaders it shaders really well thank god uh it's one of the few shade uh, exotics that shader really well to the point where I actually never have to worry about the shader with this one because I know it's just going to take it really well. With Echoed Anger, it looks super dope. You can see the blue steel is being covered a lot and I love it. The red is also really coming out, which is really, really cool. Even with Echo or even with even with Abyssinian Gold, it looks really, really cool. Uh, do be aware that the main plate of the face is taking the brown, which is taking the main color and then the top would be taking the, the off color technically. So as for the example set, I actually posted this in a video. I don't remember which one it is, but I'll have it up right now. And I just, I loved how that came out just because it gives off the vibe. Oh, I remember it was for the, uh, the, uh, Tex Mechanica pieces for the Titans. It should be that one because we're using the Tex Mechanica chess piece, uh, for the arms, Katoria gauntlets, uh, was a choice i'm not gonna say it was an easy choice but it was a choice i made and i'll explain why in a bit uh the chess piece i already explained why we're using that is from that video the uh text mechanica video which i really like you guys should definitely should check that video out for the booth ancient apocalypse greaves was an easy choice this one came up to me so fast it was actually quite startling how fast is god or this chat uh, quite frightening how this uh these boots came to me for the mark we're actually using the intrepid exploit mark this one was also easy a lot of these pieces were really easy choices for me because i had to work with the chess piece the chess piece was the first thing that i i was going to work with and from there i was like okay well i'm using this chess piece i know the ancient greaves are going to look good with this because it almost get, has that same vibe so i immediately went with that and we also went with the tangled rust shader because i wanted to give that armor like a very like 
deteriorated look, which I think the shader does a really good job with. And the Couturier Gauntlets I chose because I wanted a little bit more green because as you guys can see, the pants actually have a little bit of that green. So I wanted a little bit more because the knees don't have that green and the chest piece has that brown. So I wanted to have more green in there. For the helmet, we're using the basic look of it just because I, again, I'm going for like almost like not a decrepit look, but like like this more this mercenary has been through some shit. And how what better way to make him look fucking ragged than the helmet that has one just one eye. So again, a lot of these pieces just mix so well together. I think the one piece you can switch out if you're really not feeling it is the Katoria gauntlets. I do understand why. But again, I do think they look really cool, especially like my headcanon of this Titan where she's like kind of like this badass lady who's just like been collecting uh mementos and stuff and all of those rings represent like a like an enemy that she's killed or whatever so like for my head cannon that's why i have it like that but again it's more just to like kind of like talk myself into why i'm using the tutorial gauntlets don't get me wrong i think it looks really really cool but the story also helps me to just kind of like see it as a whole so Titan, let me know what you guys think. This is probably my favorite set. I'm going to be real with you guys just because it looks amazing. Overall, I really like this look. It has uh, a really, really cool, distinct look, in the, which is why I like it. And a lot of the pieces just make a lot of sense. So this one was a lot of fun to make. And for the ornament, this is interesting because it's not terrible, but it's not great either. So the GN is a really cool ornament. But at the same time, it's also kind of boring because if I'm being quite honest, the GN doesn't really do anything crazy. It just gives you that really cool faceplate and it takes off the pointy bit at the top of the head. That's all it does. It, you only get one piece taken out and one piece put it put in. And if I'm being quite honest, I don't mind that. I actually don't mind that. I think what I do mind is just I wish that either the chin strap was like pointy or added or looked almost like a lower jaw or was just not there because I feel like that lower jaw or the chin strap just kind of ruins it. Uh, that being said, it just looks like one eyed mask with just the faceplate. Like I'm gonna be real, real honest with you guys. If anything, they probably have the one eyed mask model. The eyes are probably still, th still there, but we can't see it because of the, the mask. Uh, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders fine. The only thing that's unfortunate is the fact that the like stripe or the jagged design of the mask doesn't shader the best most of the time, which is very unfortunate because I think it looks really cool because as you guys can see from Echoed Anger, it takes like the, the blue steel, but there's white in there and it's just it looks terrible. Same thing with Abyssinian Gold. I, it's just, it's not good. It's unfortunately just one of those things. Don't get me wrong. There is shaders that you can actually do, like you actually can get a really good color with it, but you have to find them. As for the example set, this one is funny considering this is a variation of just the basic bitch uh, ornament for the One-Eyed Mask. I've used this in multiple videos. I don't even remember which ones at this point. This is an old set is what I'm trying to say for the arms. Intrepid exploit is an easy choice because we're using the ring walker plate. And I think these two combine really well together for the boots. Lost Pacific agrees with memory of Cade Mark is a combo that I've done. Oh man, since forever ago, this was, I think shadow Peep. I think that was the first time I made this and immediately fell in love with it no no it wasn't shadow keep it was around there though i think it, no it wasn't around there i think it was maybe season of the worthy yeah because season of the worthy is when we got the the uh the casual titan and the casual everything and i remember combining the casual titan the uh the vest and then with the intrepid exploit gauntlets and then the lost pacific Greaves and memory of cade mark yeah 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 it's coming back to me those are the pieces that I used for that. And I was immediately in love with it. I think I used another helmet for it though. I think I used like, um, the in insurmountable skull for it. I think I used, and this one is just a literal variation of just that. 
so nothing too crazy to talk about this one i went with an all black look aside from the boots uh let's talk about that actually so amethyst veil for the helmet is easy choice because it gives a silver and silver and black i think are just a good combo for the arms we're using metro shift because it gives you it gives everything just black there's no blue on this so it's just all black which is really really good for the chest and boots we're using the amethyst veil unfortunately uh the boots are really annoying to get a full black just because you guys can see the boots have the uh, white in the middle and that is the problematic spot for the chest piece all of it looks really good just be aware that the buttons will just kind of mess up the coloring and there's actually a little spot like a little black box right there with purple that's actually shaderable and it will change your glow depending on which shader you use and then abyssinian gold for memory of Cade, which on one hand i like this one but at the same time it does change your your bags on your hip to brown which is unfortunate so at this point i think i'm going to try to look for another shader that had just turns everything black if i can even find that but yeah overall this is a, a variation of an old set that i made a long time ago from season of the worthy to show you how long i've been doing fashion i actually i've been doing it a lot longer than that but uh season of the Worthy, i do have, still have videos on that i think i have that video if i find it i'll post it right now but if not just be aware that i've been doing this for a while so titans let me know what you guys think i know the one eyed mask fashion was a lot of pieces from just old stuff but be aware that I have much more stuff on my Instagram. I post all of my fashion stuff there as well. I'm hoping to like really, really start catching up on some of these pictures because it's a lot of work, but with the combination of my first channel, my second channel and Instagram and of my actual job, uh, it just, it's, it's so tiring, but I do it for you guys. I do it because I just enjoy the fashion and i really enjoy the community as well because it's super fun so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later